Cooper stared at her. Which word don't you understand, time or travel? <laughs> wow, even in your fantasy, Sheldon's kind of exhausting. <laughs> He's like that in the beginning so she can change him. It's called good writing. <laughs> and wishful thinking. It stung Amelia when he spoke to her this way. In her little one-room schoolhouse, she was always the smartest student, regularly besting the boys in her class, but this was no boy in front of her. This was a man. Here we go. <laughs> Cooper told Amelia about all the strange and incredible things the future would hold, like computers and living past 30. He asked her if she had any questions. All she longed to ask was if his heart was beating as fast as hers, but she was too afraid to hear the answer. So instead, she asked if in the future, Montana ever became a state. In the 1800s, that was considered flirting. I'm so sick of people being mean on the internet. I think the anonymity makes everyone feel like they can say things they'd never say to your face. Interesting. I can't think of a single thing I wouldn't say to someone's face. <laughs> Never noticed that about you. <laughs> you know, at least you guys did something. You know, you, you had a theory. You wrote a paper. You made an actual contribution. All guys like this do is just tear down other people's work. He's right. Yeah, I say we call this person back. We've got no reason to hide. All right, do it. Call him. Let's find out what this loser's ever accomplished. Click it with me. <laughs> One, two, three, click. click. Well, hello there. <laughs> Professor Hawking? Oh, brother, you should see the look on your faces. You really didn't like our paper? I like your paper very much. The premise is intriguing. Then why are you attacking us? If you were sitting in a chair for 40 years, you'd get bored too. <laughs> anyway, gotta go. I promised to help the neighbor kid with his math homework. <laughs> Ciao. Stephen Hawking liked our paper. <laughs> Said the... Premise is intriguing. It's good to see you again, Mr. Stephen Hawking liked our paper. <laughs> and you as well, Mr. Our Premise is intriguing. How do you do, Mr. I'll admit that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, you keep setting me up for failure. With a heavy heart, Amelia stood before the newly repaired time machine. She regretted giving Cooper the part he needed. Because she wanted him to give her the part she needed. <laughs> okay, that's enough. What? No, I really want to know what happens. And Bernadette really, really, really wants to know what happens. <laughs> You're just making fun of me. Well, I was just kidding. I'm sorry. And the story's really good. No, it is. Does he stay? Do they kiss? Does she find out about Montana? <laughs> Please? Fine. As Cooper prepared to depart, tears filled Amelia's eyes. He took her hand in his and said, I can't stay, but I will never forget you. He brushed his fingers against her cheek, then quickly stepped into the machine. Please don't go, she whispered. But it was too late. The engine hummed to life. But they didn't even kiss. She turned away, wiping her eyes. She couldn't bear to watch her one chance at true love disappear forever. Then, she felt a strong hand on her shoulder spin her around. It was Cooper. <gasps> yes. <laughs> what about the future, asked Amelia. He looked deeply into her eyes and whispered, there is no future without you. He pulled her in close. She began to tremble all over. She felt his warm breath. You will not believe what Stephen Hawking just said. Yeah! 